Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 422 of Factorio with the Z block mod, where we are just trying to produce some more sodium hydroxide because we got low on that for aluminium. So this is not running because of that, let's actually just send this. And let's just get on with it. We need some machines from the train to do that. So let's empty the train. Or maybe we should only take the necessities this time around. Let's empty out, please. Good. And some of those. Bunch of these. Underground build. Is that it? Maybe this. So we built one side of this. I think I just want to make sure that this side works well enough before we build the other side. Also, science. Go. We still need some offshore pumps that I forgot about. Let's hope we have enough. We don't actually for another setup, so that's too bad. But just take away half of these, because we are not gonna get full beacon coverage just yet. We can't hit these. Is this production good enough for now? Is it balanced is what I'm trying to ask. It seems like it. this should be backing up slowly. <coughs> and it is. Then if we put beacons in, it won't be able to keep up at all. don't really have a good way to beacon back here until we get top tier beacons. Could put in modules. We use top tier modules down here. No, oh, just out of curiosity. I think we will do that here if we have enough. Each of these are hit by at least four of these. Yes. But we don't have enough sailing water for that. And science. Do we have everything to produce nitinol? Because that's the next thing we want to make. I don't know. Don't want to spend 400 science just to get this, this out of the way. This could maybe be useful at some point. This will be useful at some point. This can only help a little bit with removing machines every now and then. So let's grab that.
we start by doing this. It's not gonna be enough, right? That would be weird. Start moving all of this stuff up there and not requesting it here. I think this is already producing more than this stuff was. Maybe, maybe not. Can we do this? No. We take this and just rotate it around. line up nicely except these are going in the wrong direction and we might want these to just be a bit more symmetrical and go on this side gonna put full modules in these yet unless I have to I will put some water down out here though stuff too bad Can just go all the way if we just add these. Half the way until we need to fix the insert us. Just right around here. So I missed half the insert this thing it. gonna put this down first. I 
and then realize I had some stupid stuff here. You go near, you go far, that's all good. Then we need to pick some insulators on this insulators on this end. There, 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 and there. Could just connect all of this. That would help this run while we go grab more stuff. It sort of seems like a waste though, but do I really care? Not that I can think of. Now why do we not have stuff coming out here? Because these are the wrong way. So go away. It's annoying to be a little bit too fast for this stuff. Should we just get rid of one of these? At least it makes it quite a lot better. Explosive excavation stuff. And I guess we should just go grab that. And then we'll just wait a while until we have better beacons to finish this completely. I think we have enough production of the sodium hydroxide anyway. We could of course make another setup. Just to not have to come back here as soon. That would be nice. Let's do that. I'm just gonna go grab some of the things we need. Should have emptied some of this out first though. Oh well.
these need to be upgraded soon. Let's just make some room for that. Oh, well, put some in for that. I didn't need as many of these as I thought. And we have more on the train anyway. Don't need those. Should have put this in the train. Let's grab salination plants first. Hundred. Good. That's enough. Offshore pumps. Two hundred. Hopefully that's enough. It is, because we just need two of those to every one salination plant. Explosives, grabbing up that. I have everything else here, I think. Hopefully. Do we want to fill up on something? Nah. Though I probably forgot about something still. Science? Let's get that out. If we actually made some space between these setups we could fit beacons in there. It needs purple beacons though to actually reach. But are we not okay with just waiting? I think so. Yes. So how, how wide is this supposed to be? This is... One to wide, this is fine. Good. I guess we didn't really need that many explosives, but oh well. Could also landfill this area after placing these pumps down and putting beacons in there. Maybe that would be a good thing to do, but we'll see. Then this whole thing goes up here. And there's really a little bit more land up here for the clarifiers. if this makes it faster or slower because the robots will have to follow me then. I guess I should have removed stuff like that from the blueprint so we could place it down manually. All the easy, th easy things to place.
Is this not a way to actually remove beacons? Whoops. Like that at least. But there's a thing to get rid of these things. The requests. Oh, yes. Doesn't work there, but can we remove these with this? No. Guess we could try to replace them with something we don't have and then remove the request for that. Or does that only work if you have actually have the thing you want to replace? Apparently, yes. Or maybe this just didn't... No, it does try to do it. Oops. I want these out of here. They are not supposed to be there. Let's just remove these. Then we are lacking some stuff. Mind you, though, that's loose, that's fine. We need some pipe. And we don't have much. Okay. modules at this point in time? No. Why not? CPUs. I didn't expect that to be a problem unless we need Chrome for it. Oh yeah, Chrome production was out. So that's probably it. CPU. Platinum, not Chrome, okay. We actually have some here, it's just not a lot. Am I seeing this right? How do we have an ingredient shortage if all of these bolts are backed up? Oh, because these do not take from the right bolts. That makes sense. Output full. Fluid ingredient short touch. Oh dear, so many things to fix. Not enough time to do it. That should be a lot better than it was.
Let's just do that for now. Machines back in here. Oh, not those. No. Dang it. Give me back those and those. And one stack of these. We're probably going home anyway, right? You go home, and I go home. Do want those modules, but again, we need CPUs and stuff for that. Optimation 6 done. Let's get this out, this out of the way. Though it's pretty dang expensive. Should have left these down there, but that's too late now. Now, with us sending the platinum train, we should have more CPUs soon, right? Yes. Good. Let's just send those for now. We need more platinum production. We will need to fix chrome production. Because chrome is the short coming up here, I think. And we also need to fix cover, and I think we should start at cover. But how do we fix cover? I don't want to make this even bigger. So I would want to make or use higher tier modules, but we don't have those. Not strictly necessary to fix this right now because there's a full train's worth in there. This is a more serious matter at the moment because we are backed up on. Uh, cobalt and nickel and we have full trains of that as well so we need to start using that what to do about that we could well the cobalt should just be sent to cobalt Put it here, I guess. Not that we're really consuming a lot of it, but still. Let's fill up on stuff first. Why are we not being filled up more? Do we just have everything? Okay, so that's how our inventory looks when it's not full of weird stuff, I guess. Do we need 20 of those? Never mind. Not anymore. Don't want 40 of these anymore either. Let's 
So we can go fix Chrome, I guess. By going to Cobalt first. And then figuring out what to do with the niggle afterwards. What does one do with nickel? That's the only thing you do. No, wait. You make inma, you make nitinol. Oh, that's good. Oh, Nitinol is just a mixed product. So if we mix Nickel with Titanium, we get more Titanium. But if we mix Nickel with twice the amount of Titanium, we get not Titanium. Oh well. Okay. Chrome. Default. Or overflow, I guess. I guess we just have to bring that in by robot. We don't have to, but I guess I want to do that. Because I'm lazy. So we will go there. Cobalt. Cobalt. Cobalt cream. Nectus. Good. Crane on its way. Yes, good. Shoved in here. A space for a beacon, though. But I guess I can live with that. There's no cobalt ore in here. Here. Take this whole thing. Here. And then all of our robots work on that for a bit. We have a bunch of construction bots left here. Let's take those. Not that we are really low on those right now, but they're still expensive to have flying around. Is that all of them? Yes. Do we want to add more logistic bots? Or do we think this is temporary? Well, the chests will be full soon. And then it shouldn't be a problem anymore. Because these processes are not very fast and they're also stalled, so... 
Yeah. Look. Next problem. This might still be a problem, but we'll see. This was also a problem for CPUs. Don't have any high tier productivity. Where did those go? Did I put those in the train? God, I'm stupid sometimes. Guys, we could replace some of these with fewer that has higher productivity modules in. Team 28. That is enough to fix this set thing, I think. So let's go grab those. Robots carrying beacons. Sure. Mm. Should be fine. We're gonna re reduce the amount of casting machines anyway, so not too many worries, I think. System unable to keep up, it seems like it. Then, if we put a beacon right there, still not enough. Actually, why don't we just move this up here and that? Well, not enough, maybe. If it had more sulfur dioxide, or sulfur acid, I guess. Why it doesn't it do? Just getting rid of all of the wastewater because we have been backed up for so long. We have plenty of sulfur lying around. We just need to speed these up, I guess. should still be better, I think. If nothing else, then at least for a little while. Why did we put this on the far side of all this, though? I don't know. Did it actually get better? I don't know. 
doesn't feel like this is more production than we had. But maybe that's because we were entirely out of sulfuric stuff. Look at me, I'm helping. Fine on that part at least. Good, and then. Wait, why didn't I remove this as well? Still able to keep up then. I'm starting to lack like the base resources. Yes, we are. Okay. So we don't need any more speed than that at least. I think we need nearly this much. stick with this sure it is a lot better now than it was but that's only until the backup gets removed let's send that to cpu have a look at if we have run out already F yes. that's even though we have productivity in all of this can't put productivity in these right I don't think so. Okay, but we still have a problem over at Chrome. Since we need that for There's no. I guess it's not that big of a problem because we need Nisno next. The only problem is if we're not consuming enough of it, of it or if we need even more. It's just annoying to deal with the overflow of it. Bring some of it to titanium. Even though we are also bringing in a something else, the manganese here, right? Yes. That is out though. Another case where we're entirely out of sulfuric acid. Have less sulfur here. Should be building back up again, right? Maybe. We should bring some sulfuric wastewater from here. But I don't think that should be necessary, so I'm gonna give it some more time.
we do need a time con but time constraint. Yes. Good. Otherwise these won't get anything ever. Maybe we should just start working on Nitinulf. But we need titanium ingots for that. Are there any other ways to make Nitinulf? No. The titanium ingots should just come from titanium, right? I think so. I didn't build all of this just to redesign it again, because that would be hell. I would rather go and speed this up and stuff. But getting the ingots out of here. Why are they in the request chest? Splitting. Yes, we do have space for an inserter here to bring into a chest over here or something? Yeah. Right, so that, I guess, is our goal right now. Titanium. Do we have more speed modules? Yes, we do. Let's go grab those. They will be useful. Is our production of sodium hydroxide actually good enough at this point? Still no, it seems. You go there. Might find out that we still have enough here. Yeah, this is just being filled up. So we don't need to worry too much about modules for that right now. Just stop blinking then. I have construction parts here. Nope. Probably gonna forget that these need modules. Uh, that's too bad. Good. Good. We start production of higher tier beacons. Don't we already have everything that is needed? Saying it should be simple, pretty much. I just don't want to spend too many resources on this. Can we limit the output, please? If we have less than hundred available. Actually they will be limited by this 
before that, so never mind. I am just concerned that I made incorrect limits over a cobalt for these. Is if below 200, right? This is above 200, so it is red. Okay, so it is disabled. Good. So it was correct all along. Never mind. Titanium. Let's go. Bring some more modules. Every little bit counts. We need more parts here. Also need Inva at some point, right? Maybe. Let's see. One thing at a time. We only need very small amounts of Nitinol too, I think. There's nothing here we need to mass produce. Yes, robots are the thing we need to mass produce the most, unless we go over to green belts. So we don't need that big amounts, but I'm still gonna try to make it for some sort of scheme. Again, robots and belt is useful. Why have we stopped entirely producing? Was it just because of the sulfuric acid? Of course it was. So that is still a problem. Okay. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode, so thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.